welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make Oreo balls. I wanted to make this for December for Christmas time. Didn't get around to it, so we're going to make it in January. And um, so that way, in case you still want to make it, or in February, you want to make it for your sweetie for Valentine's Day. Okay. <clears throat> so in the bowl, I have took a whole packet of Oreos. You can use the off-brand. You know, the little chocolate cookies with the white filling. You pulse them um, to fine crumbs in a food processor processor, processor or something. Has to be fine, okay? No big chunks. A block of softened cream cheese at room temperature. Real soft. So, we're just going to use <coughs> a hand mixer. And we're going to mix this, okay? So I will fling the piggy crumbs everywhere for a minute until I get them some of the mix in. Okay. It don't take very long. You just got to get them mixed in real good. Okay. So I'm going to turn this off. Well... And then I'm going to release my pleaters. And then we're going to kind of. Okay, now we have our um, batter that we're going to roll our balls in, okay? Reason why you put cream cheese in is because this is your binder to make them. Now, I think you could, I've seen on Pinterest that you can use different kind of cookies, like if you want to do uh, Nutter Butter cookies, which are peanut butter, you can be Nutter Butter balls, like that funny word. Um, you could do pecan sandies, any kind of cookie, maybe some chocolate chips. Just make sure they're fine crumbs and you mix it with the cream cheese. Okay? So then we're going to take... A cookie sheet right here with some seal pat and then we're just going to take some of our dough and you want to make sure it's moldable you, you press it and it starts molding then you know so you just roll it with your hands and then we put that on the co uh, uh, cookie sheet because we need to chill these in the freezer for at least 15 minutes or you can put them in the refrigerator for about um, about 30 minutes. This makes them harden up a little bit more because what we're going to do after these are chilled, we're going to dip these in white metal chocolate or you could do milk chocolate and dip them and let that all harden. So they're like little cookie truffles, kind of like... So, I'm going to have to come with the video, too, after I get them all rolled. Let me kind of show you. I've got some started. I'll come back with video, too, after we get ready to start dipping. <laughs> 